Yeah, today, eight Oliver Smiley completed the first day of their sentence. It comes after a three-year battle in the court system because they just refused to display an orange safety triangle on their buggies and then later refused to pay court costs associated with that. Well, Danny Byler was sentenced to 10 days. Jacob Gingrich was sentenced to seven days. Emmanuel Yoder will spend three days behind bars at the Graves County Jail. And the remaining men, Menno Zook, Los Yoder, Levi Hostetler. Yeah, David Zook and Eli Zook will spend four days behind bars. Now, a ninth defendant, Levi Zook, was set to spend three days behind bars. However, we learned that a man describing himself as a, quote, concerned citizen paid off Zook's $148 in fines so Zook could return home to a sick child. Yeah, Local 6 says Lauren Adams joins us live tonight from the Graves County Jail. Lauren, I think a lot of people are wondering right now, how are these men holding up? Sure. Good evening, Jen. By all accounts, they are doing well. Deputies here at the jail tell us they had good appetites. They've also been in good spirits, spending most of the day just lying down and talking amongst each other. Now, you mentioned those eight men who are behind bars, Jen Scott, and the first one is due to get out on Thursday, but there's a lot of folks here in town who say they don't deserve to be here at all. Ken Crawford says it's an extraordinary event that led him to display this simple sign. It says, Fry unsere Freunde. Free our friends. Friends, in this case, are a group of Amish men who are behind bars. Men he's never met. I want to be here because I have my religious freedom as a Catholic. Jailer Randy Haler understands the argument, but tells us he also understands his responsibilities. We got a job to do, so we do it. Haley tells us these eight men have already set themselves apart from most inmates. They were here about 9.30. They just sat outside and waited until 11. We could take them to 11. They were so easy to work with, all eight were booked in less than 30 minutes. No drove alone. But Haley tells us he has made some concessions. Take, for example, these uniforms and their accommodations. All eight are in this large holding cell. Well, I hate that they had to go to jail. But Sheriff Dwayne Redmond says it comes down to safety and the rules of the road. State law says that they must display the triangle. Ironically enough, in a battle that began over that sign, Ken Crawford knows this sign won't do much. I'm out here doing what very little I can to say this is wrong. Back here live tonight, this group has been represented by the ACLU since 2008, and their lawyer is a man named Bill Sharp. We did speak to him over the phone today, Jen, and he issued us this statement. He said, we're certainly disappointed the judge decided to go forward with the hearing and impose these sentences. Nevertheless, we remain hopeful the Kentucky Supreme Court will decide to hear their appeals. And Mr. Sharp also told me that the men behind bars tonight and the remainder of their set have no plans to display those yellow triangles as an alternative. They want to simply use sticky tape, double-sided tape, reflective tape around the outside of their buggies. Jen, Scott? Uh, Lauren, so what's the difference between this reflective tape and a reflective triangle? Why is one okay and the other one isn't? Sure, again, Scott, it all boils down to religion. Reflective tape, they say, is just that. But this triangle, they say the shape reflects the Blessed Trinity, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and that's something their sect does not believe in. Also, they say it's very worldly, and the color orange and the shape just draw way too much attention, attention that they do not need. But at this case, at this point, they have certainly gotten Scott. All right, thanks very much. Well, Sheriff Redmond told us today he will not be targeting Amish drivers who aren't using the reflective triangle, but he says he will continue to enforce the law, and he will cite drivers not using them. Well, the trial